Hi Physics, this is Miss Adderley. I'm going to go over how to calculate displacements. Uh, there's going to be an assignment posted and I want you to understand how to do this. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. I'm going to show you how to do this with uh, paper and then I'm also going to show you something in the chapter that you can utilize to actually do the problems for you in a sense. So I'm going to go about this both ways. I have two problems here I'm going to go over. So number one, a dog initially located at position 33 meters in the XY plane undergoes the following displacement. What is the total displacement of the dog and what is the final position of the dog with respect to the origin? What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a diagram to show you the movement of the dog. So here's my graph that I'm going to use. Again, you guys know this, but this is my x-axis and here's my y-axis. So my initial position is 3, 3, which means in respect to my x-y origin, I have to put my initial position. So I'm going to use the grids on this uh, graph paper as 1. So 3, 3 would be 1, 2, 3, and then up 3, 1, 2, and 3. So this is my initial position for the dog. Now, I had three displacements. I'm going to write them off to the side. D1 was 2, 1. D2 was negative 4, negative 2. D3 is 3, negative 2. Now, I want to stress something. These are not coordinates on the xy plane. These are displacements. This is movement. So this is where our dots are going to move these different directions, and I'm going to show you how we'll do that. So remember, your first one is always in respect to the x-axis, and then your second number is in respect to the y-axis. So I'm starting here, and my first movement is 2 and 1. Well, positive means to the right or up. And if you have a negative number, it means you're moving to the left or down. So it's both positive. So the first one is x. I'm going to go 1, 2 for 2, and then I'm going to go up 1. So this is my second point. My next movement is negative 4, negative 2, which means I'm going to go to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'm going to move down 2. One and our last one is three, negative two. I'm going to go over one, two, three, and I'm going to go down one, two. The red dot is our uh, final position. Our red dot is going to be our final position that we have. So it's going to be X, F. I need to figure out two things in the question. Now let's go back to the question just so we can look at it. We have what is the final position of the dog with respect to the origin? So total displacement and final position. Well here's our final position. With respect to the origin that's going to be what is our xy coordinates for our, our final position? So let's do that. It's 1, 2, 3, 4. Maybe 4 for the x, and it's on the x-axis itself, so that's 0. What is my total displacement? We're going to go back over here. How you find total displacement is you're going to add or subtract whatever your coordinates are going to show, uh, tell you to do, both your x and your y separately to figure out your total displacement. So we have 2 minus 4 plus 3, and that's going to be for our x. And then we have 1 minus 2 minus 2, and that's going to be for our y. So 2 minus 4 is negative 2, plus 3 is a positive 1. 1 minus 2 is negative 1, minus 2 again is going to be negative 3. This is how you would do this with paper and pencil. 
but your textbook has something handy that um, will let you do this digitally. So let's check that out. I want to be on page 75 of your textbook. This is an interactive, and I'm going to show you how we're going to utilize this. What I want you to do is go under part two, and you're going to click on this interactive simulation, displacement in two dimensions. Initial position of the dog is 3-3. Three, three. So I'm going to go over here. You have to backspace and then put the numbers in. It's going to automatically put 1-1, one, one, but we need to change that. So we're going to put in D1, D2, and D3. So D1 is 2-1. D2 is negative 4, negative 2. And D3 is going to be 3, negative 2. And make sure you press Enter. Let's check what we have. Down here, we have 4, 0. That's our position in respect to the X, Y plane. And then down here, our total displacement is going to be 1, negative 3. So let's go back to this and see how we did. So here's our, our position, 4, 0. And then our total displacement is plus 1, negative 3. So we have the same values without doing all of the written out. So over here, you can see this is uh, representing my graph paper. And it shows you all of the steps that I took, there's a little directional thing showing you how we move. This is a handy tool for completing these displacement problems. You can just plug everything in to the interactive itself and it does it for you. Now down here you also have a total distance. So the dog moved 10.31 meters. That's a very handy tool that I want to show you how to use.